South Korean stocks closed lower on concerns over slower global economic growth. It was the worst day for the Kospi since last October. Kodini breaks down the digits for us. In Monday's session, Korea's benchmark Kospi closed at around 21.45, down more than 1.9 percent. It was the biggest decline in five months. In the morning, it stayed above 21.50 but fell later on. Analysts pointed to uncertainties abroad, including the United States. Last week, the Federal Open Market Committee, the policy arm of the Fed, kept its benchmark interest rate unchanged. Fed Chairman Jerome Powell said the American economy will grow at a solid pace in 2019, although likely slower than in 2018, raising concerns about global growth. Another reason came from Germany. Last week, data showed that German manufacturing has recently contracted. Also, Germany's 10-year bond yield slipped below zero for the first time since 2016. This signals that people are looking for safety as concerns rise about slowing economic growth. The analysis added that these uncertainties hit stocks in the U.S. and Europe, which in turn spooked investors in Korea. Korea's tech-heavy junior index, the Kostak, closed at around 727, also down to and a quarter percent. This analyst does not predict a big fall in the coming days, but says stocks will hit bottom sometime in the second quarter and rebound afterwards. Meanwhile, the Korean currency closed at around 1,134 won against the U.S. dollar, up more than 4 won from the previous close. Kurni, Arirang News.